They love Backview, but Backview yeah. took care of them. I mean, they, yeah. that was like the one brewery. Here it is up in, you know, Porter, you know, yeah. on the other side. You know, yeah. I mean, I call that South Lufkin. But, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, they're literally, you know, making strides in, they had in presence, Kima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, and they, had, they had people in every territory for self-distribution. Yeah. Or, well, I mean, now you can find Saloon Door in uh, Corpus Christi. You can also find oh, Saloon Door in nice. San Antonio. Yes. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's crawling around that, Texas we, very we, fast. We've been making our reach. That we've been is, putting our feelers out, and people have been grabbing it. That's all thanks to Jason Graham. Yeah. That, that guy is a crazy son of a gun. <laughs> He, I've been trying to move your mic closer. You just keep my back further, further away from it. <laughs> no, the, the, Jason has been on a, like a, a journey to like put our beer in everywhere. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God for Every the pickup call. Uh, <laughs> that's a valuable guy to have. Yeah. I mean, that's that's you know, sales is important. Right? Corpus, I mean, yeah. San Antonio, Austin, he is all those a, he open is a markets. Workhorse. He Can moves we? some beer. He's moving it there. Yeah. And because you all still self distribute, right? Are you go, went back to self distribute? Or how, what's, no, what's no. It? So all when, those territories that we just uh, listed. Probably those are distributors. Our, right? self yeah. self, no, those are our self. Those are self. Yeah. So, so, so yes. we have we have a distributor for like like Houston. like an in town okay, set, okay. and then everything outside of that is our self distribution okay. market. So Jason is basically selling our beer everywhere. Yeah, and so he so he, he he's the one putting the miles in. Yeah. Uh, Damn. It, yeah. He's, he's working his butt off. Yeah. 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 It's been good for us. I was about to say he's making that carrier permit work, but I think as a brew pub, you don't even need a carrier's permit. So. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that because I'm not the expert. Right, right, right. Actually, I think you don't even need one. Yeah. So, yeah. so awesome. he's doing what it takes to keep us afloat. This side little, like, Texas room is going to help out a lot. Yeah. yeah. But, but, yeah, yeah. The... The distribution of beer in Austin and San Antonio and yeah. Corpus is it's, huge. It's pretty awesome. Actually, so... It's one, helped a lot. So one thing that was really fun is uh, we were here brewing uh, the other week, right? And I got a call at 10 in the morning Yes. from this one dude in San Antonio. He said, hey, <laughs> I love your beer. I want Ridiculous. I, w- I, was, you know, I was in town. I tried your Ridiculous. I loved it. Uh, I want to know... Like, is there any way I can get it in San Antonio? And, like, literally the night before, Jason had packed up to make his trip to San Antonio. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're able to point him in the right direction, yeah. huh? And, and, so, and so this dude calls at 10 in the morning. It's like, hey, man, I want to know where I can buy your beer. Uh, and Jason like, has a well, truck well, load you, you are in luck. Just today, you can go to your local ATB and you can find Saloon Door Beer. At your local ATV, he's like, there's no way. I heard, I, like, yeah. I heard that Jason sold some cases in the parking lot somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but that's neither here nor it, there. There's no better hustler Allegedly. for saloon door beer than Jason Graham. Yeah. I'm just going to say. Hey, somebody's uh, got to do the work. You yeah. know? That, that, that guy's a beer hustler. Before he was a coach for baseball, he's still doing the same thing. He's just coaching beer. <laughs> yeah. Coaching beer. Love the guy. Yeah. Got to be hitting it from all angles, man. Yeah. Got to have an all-star that team, you know, from the, he, yeah. in the brew house and the sales department, he's got marketing. The, he's got the dream team. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Tap room. You got to, you, you, obviously, I mean. Tap room so popular right now. People are people are are, are overflowing into yes. the Texas room now. It, it, oh, yeah, awesome. it's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we we got too many people here. Damn, right? <laughs> we don't have too many people. Please keep coming. So, in <laughs> hour number three of the podcast, away. there's going to be people outside. You know, it's going to be overflow. <laughs> Y'all can sit down with us. And yeah. Yeah, we're sitting, show. We're and, sitting in our laps, and, and like you know, it, you know, it's the, it's the dinner hour. At least when we started this, and we we get food trucks in uh, Thursdays and Fridays and Saturdays, and so you can get food here. It's like we always book good trucks. Like 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 we we, we have like a curated process of figuring out our food truck game, and so like we we would book trucks that all of us had been to and liked, and we'd be like, yo, you know, we got a spot. Do you want to show up? And like, yeah, they show up, and like it's always excellent food. Like. It, like you can come to Saloon Door and there will be good food. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's a good joint. There's not good food. You can you can definitely bring your own. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I like yeah. the Shepherd Mix who's here today. Yeah, yeah. They make fantastic oh, yeah. pastor tacos that uh-huh. are off the Ooh, chain yeah. with the green top sauce that goes with it. Yeah, top of the line. Yeah. It's but like like on our Monday oh, on yeah. our Mondays and Tuesdays, they're a bit of a slower night. We don't have food trucks on those nights, but we are food friendly on those. We're nights. definitely so food friendly. Like, yeah. like you you can you can order in pizza, you can order in sandwiches, you can order in Chinese, whatever you want. Like like you know when we don't have a food truck outside, like definitely bring in whatever food you want. I don't think a lot of people know yeah. that either. They they're yeah. always confused about that. Yeah. 
So. And there's been times where I've come here and there's been like Dan's Pizza. I mean, you know, oh. there are like, uh, fuzzy uh, tacos. Fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, so yeah. It's, yeah, we, we like to partner with, with local businesses and small businesses and food trucks all the time. Like, you know, we, we, we want to share the wealth. We want to keep the community engaged. We want we want them to know that there's good stuff down here and who it is that makes it because, like, you got you to gotta show them their love, too. And in a lot of a lot of those cases, those are places that have you on tap. Yeah, hands and fuzzy. Oh, yeah. So you know, it's only appropriate to, to yep. No uh, have their food beers here. Yeah. looking at you. I mean, there's a ton of beer in this area now. Just great selection all yeah. over. Um, yeah, the southeast side has has become good. Like over the last like five six years, and like it's it's really awesome. It's great to be a part of. It's a you know it, it's it's great that we've grown this thing into what it is, and like. I'm excited because there's still new places that I keep hearing about, like, in the process of opening up. It's like, oh, yeah, like, open up, make good beer. Like, I want to go right, drink it. Right. <laughs> no, I think there's uh, four new breweries planned for Dickinson right I think now. So, so we, we lost one. We're gaining four. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. yeah. yeah it should be which interesting. One, which ones are still in, in, in the works? Well, I guess we got the, uh, the, the, the one. Okay, so there's the Trumpies. Okay, there's Grumpy's McGregor. Um, okay. There's the uh, the Rhino that was a yeah, flying Rhino, Rhino. Rhino. which I'm I, I'm not up to date on his. I mean, I know he, they were like building something, right? Mm-hmm. So Ryan, I mean, something. Ryan okay. needs to come on the show yeah, for it. sure. Yep. Yeah. So uh, and then in two spots that used to be other breweries in Dickinson and the old uh, the old cranky britches uh, galactic Since spot. Ward. There's mm-hmm. the backyard, which you know I guess they kind of. Kind of at an auction item over the weekend, over at at, at a, a fundraiser for Mark Board, they kind of uh, made their self known that they're oh, yeah yeah, yeah they? kind of so kind of t- so tell kind me of put about it out that. there yeah so I mean and I, I've obviously been kind of aware of it but uh uh huh <laughs> okay so I guess we're gonna break some news or we're gonna, <laughs> it's, the news already broken but anyway, anyway I wasn't planning on talking about it but I mean it, you know it's, and it's not probably my place too but since we've been drinking and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and move in hour number three uh let's <laughs> no no but uh, yeah there's there's new brews coming to, uh dickinson uh you know i think there's the one in the old tbr spot it's yeah. gonna be uh six yeah. wards yeah. 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 yeah and then the other one's gonna be the the backyard which is uh you know kind of affiliated with the backyard and yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so. i didn't know about that oh yeah. is there gonna be a mac and cheese beer uh, I, don't, I, I don't know the answer to that. Hey, Jared, if you're listening, what? we need a mac and cheese beer. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what All I know the is they, 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 the were, they were tongue. scared of the plastic fermenters, and they bought some Pre- jacketed ones. Preferably so, yeah. with bacon. Uh, <laughs> a roush? Bacon. Uh. Bacon, bacon. I, I just like my mac and cheese with bacon. I don't know about the beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the uh, Flying Rhino, I mean, he, they're like building it. Brewery, right? Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. They're building a spot. I mean, have they like, broke yeah. ground yet? Or? So I, I don't know about that. So like, my wife was at a at an event here recently where Bayhab, the the Bay Area Economic Foundation, was talking about them. You know, and obviously, you know, we've known about it for like two or three. I mean, they, you know, that that name's been out there for a while, mm-hmm. right? But mm-hmm. uh, it's been I out guess there it's. For a while, yeah. I guess it's going to be a, a long process. I think it's a slow start, yeah, yeah. Um, which yeah. is fine because, you, as we all know, sitting here at this table, right, it, it takes a lot to open up a brewery. It does it's just, take a lot, It's yeah. not just like, hey, let me open a brewery. It's a, it's, no, it, it's, it's a much longer and more expensive process than you ever initially anticipated absolutely. it to be. Right. It's extremely difficult. Yeah. 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 No, but, and I remember, you know, being on the side, you know, meeting a brewer who had a plans to build his own yeah. brewery and break ground and all that. And at the time thinking, oh, wow, dude, you got a long ride to oh, hope. Long way to go. Mm-hmm. Now he's killing it. You know who that yeah. guy is? No, I, I, I remember. That's Val. Yeah. Val, Val I mean, I remember, you know, no, back I, when he bought he yeah. bought some real estate. That's all he had. And then, right. you know, I, I, look I, at him I, now. I right? remember we had a uh, we, we had a Southeast side, like, uh, like professional brewers, like, just, like, friend group. Yeah. Because, like, 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 we all knew each other, basically. We, we, we would hang out at each other's places, like, every month or so. And, uh, and like, we, we had this one guy who was there. And he was, like, he was in the process of opening a brewery. And it's like, oh. Like you know, it's always Decemberish. Like it's like he he always had this idea of he was about to open, about to open, about to open, <laughs> and so we, we made fun of him for like a little bit for that. They they made more fun because they knew him longer. Like when we initially joined, we we joined in on this joke. But Val did eventually open up and tell right, right. it. <laughs> and, and Val had to do a lot of legwork in the city of Pearland to make that happen. Yeah, you know, yeah, and he yeah. and, and even when before Bobfish, Bobfish was yeah. open, um, he did a lot of that legwork to even yeah. you know set up that platform. So. Man, so, he's killing so, it out there. So Pearland's not brewery friendly. Um, they are now. No, they are. Yeah. There's, two, there's two. There's two. No, no, they're not brewery friendly. Val worked his butt off, and so well, did, so did Chris. I, Val, Val and Chris fish. both worked. Yeah, like, they, they both worked harder than we did. What? Webster yeah. was brewery friendly. They, Webster was super excited about it. They the made it easy. Mm. Both Chris and Val worked hard. Yes, they yeah. did. Yeah. 
Well, they were they were changing just whole perceptions about alcohol. I mean, that's you know, yeah. Pearland's I mean, got I mean, such so, a weird so or Friendswood really. Something you know, to be said about that. Yeah, like, yeah. they they both really they were the really, tip of the spear. Yeah, last I heard, Pearland's like we don't need any more breweries. I think like really, yeah, know. interesting. Choose enough. Dude, Bow, they got over. Yeah. I didn't realize Pearland's bigger than Lake City. It's got they're, like a hundred and twenty. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Wow. Yes. I didn't realize. I mean, and they they're only not, they're not bigger. They just don't need more alcohol. <laughs> well, but they have they have more population. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm looking for a brewery on the west side, so the 288 side has not. There's like nothing that. out there. Um, I'm hoping maybe John of Drink of Ages will come down to that area and open up a brew pub. Oh, I, would, in that area. I would love that. <laughs> Doesn't did, did, did he live in Pearland? He does yeah. live in Pearland. And that's oh, wow. So do you all know what, uh, what, 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 out here, John. what <laughs> venue in Pearland sold the mo- sells the most alcohol every month? Is it King's? No. No. It's Le- not King's. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Really? Let me think about it. Um, come back to me. You're probably not going to get it. It's Is it the Costco? Gonna, it's probably going to surprise. Well, okay, we're, <laughs> we're talking. Uh, okay, we're talking. Uh, we're probably talking uh, restaurant bar. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah so okay, so I would say like um, I would probably say Mexican restaurant. Then. Ooh. Oh, she's on, um, it. She's on it. She's on it. Probably Gringos. Gringos. Yeah. Booyah. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Hey, Pearland, Texas City, Laporte, like those cities, Gringo is number one yep. alcohol. Wow. Sales. Uh, okay, I mean, we can take this. Do you know what it is in Webster? No. I mean, Nobi. You're, 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 we're not too far from it. I mean, you Nobi. know. Is, is it, it the Nobi Public House? No, it's Twin Peaks. Twin oh! Peaks. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. But All right, they, do you want to do, do you want to go got, Seabrook or they got, the, they got the coldest beer at twenty nine degrees? <laughs> Seabrook. <laughs> Nobody had barking. We know what they're doing. And good. the coldest hearts. Good, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, do you want Leak City then? On that note, All right. Leak City Kings. No. Uh, well, Kings. I'm not sure city. how that's. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, oh. I don't okay, Twin that. Peaks and Webster. So think Twin Peaks on steroids. Oh, I'm trying to think uh, what's actually bomb shells. Bomb shells. Well, I, actually, I don't think there's a bomb It's another like restaurant for sure. Oh, it's, 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 Tight in. It's, it's Tight in. Tight in. Oh, that's that's not a restaurant. That's an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strip club. Astronaut. <laughs> it's like the you same as everything. Asteroid. Right, so, uh, so Kima, you want to do Kima? Kima. Was, I mean, Kima's not. It was Scallies. A, no, I mean, you know, that's not a that's not a bad guess. You know, or, it, it, it's uh, not even T Bones. It's not Jackie's Brick House. Which is it, Joe's Crab Shack? No, no, it's, it's not a boardwalk. It's not a Landry's deal. It, it's not a Landry's. Wow. Independently owned. Wow. Oh. You know, uh, yeah. This is the part of the trivia game where we just one. keep losing. It's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's good to know. Hmm. I think we're zero for three on trivia every single time we've shown up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, actually, yeah, we always we still make funny off. <laughs> I'm really bad. I'm really bad the West. The Wild West. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was back when we were doing like visual, and we didn't yeah. realize that this hey, is an audio. Did, did, I, did I, I redeem I, myself on Sci-Fi on the second? Yeah, show? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I never got my because final, could, like, yeah. final score yeah. on that that first one. Oh I think no, it was no, one. No, yeah, we, yeah, so like no, no. Ten percent. We, we had our we, 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 we had like tournament style on that game, and like I definitely won all three of those. And you never called me back for the rest oh, of the, the tournament. Oh, the challenge! You're right, yeah, you're right. The challenge. Yeah, you're I mean, right. like, like I was, I was cheating because I'm an orangutan. No, you're right. You're arms. right. Yeah, you're just, <laughs> just yeah. saying, man. That's true. That's true. We did move away from that pretty quick. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't remember why. I think somebody got hurt or something. Oh, no, no playing. <laughs> not, not really. All right, so Kima's voodoo. 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 All right, Seabrook. Oh. Seabrook. Seabrook. Wow. Wow. And I study I study alcohol reports. Yeah, that makes know, sense. I, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, it's, it's what I do. Yeah. Seabrook. So Seabrook's been kind of decimated. You know, I mean, there's yeah. not as many. Yeah. Although this place isn't affected by it. It's And it's on the water. So it's Damn. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Are you going to guess or should I just throw it out there? Wait, Seabrook? Uh, yeah, Seabrook. Oh, um, Gilhulis. Who is it? Who, what'd you know. say? Yo, Hoolies? That's not Seabrook. That's, oh, it's not? Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's San Leon. Oh, no, oh San Leon, yeah. Seabrook yeah. yeah. is tough. Uh, Sam's Boat. Was Sam's, Sam's Boat. Boat. Yeah, so not nice. Cabo, not Barge. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Sam's yeah. Boat. There's not a whole lot of Seabrook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seabrook's hurting, yeah, after... Yeah, Papado's got wiped out by Hurricane Ike, and then now the 146 construction has wiped Sam's out all these old spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a hard I'm trying to think what other what other area uh, that's that pretty much covers the basics, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. I think it does. I, I'm just Clear trying. Clear Lake. To, I, I I just want us to go in hour number three. That's all. That's my main goal right now. Clear hey, Lake. Should I do a real quick little tiny weekend brew? Yes. And, uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a weekend brew. Y'all ready? Yes. I'm ready. Everybody's working for the weekend. 
So when can we drink this? Yeah. <laughs> the Galactic Coast Power Hour. 